The human experience, in all its complexity and wonder, is governed by two distinct biological blueprints, one belonging to the male, and one belonging to the female. For too long, the history of science and medicine has treated the male blueprint as the default setting, the standard by which all human physiology and psychology should be measured. But when we truly turn our attention to the female body and mind, we uncover a vast, intricate, and astonishing landscape, a unique biological code that deserves its own focused and profound understanding. This is a deep dive, an exploration of those curious facts that often remain hidden, truths about women's psychology and health, that can reshape how we understand mood, pain, connection, and resilience. We invite you to listen carefully, to lean in, and to discover the sheer, elegant complexity that defines the female human being. I'm Dr. Emma Blake, a medical professional passionate about urology, reproductive health, sexual wellness, and relationship science. Our journey begins in the most profound place of all, the brain. It is here that we find the subtle, yet significant, differences in psychological architecture and processing that shape how a woman experiences the world. One of the most striking, and sadly, well-documented facts is the global disparity in certain mental health conditions. Women are on average approximately $1, $5 times more likely to experience major depressive disorder than men, and the prevalence of anxiety disorders and panic attacks is also notably higher in the female population. This isn't just a matter of social circumstance or diagnosis bias, though those factors certainly play a role. This is rooted in biochemistry and structure. The female brain has distinct mechanisms for dealing with stress and emotion. Studies show a consistently higher level of activation in the limbic system, particularly the amygdala and the hippocampus, the regions responsible for emotion regulation and memory formation. This enhanced connectivity can mean that emotional memories are processed with greater intensity and recalled with more vivid detail, which can be a double-edged sword. It allows for a richness in emotional experience, empathy, and social processing. But it can also make women more vulnerable to the relentless, looping nature of anxiety and rumination. The persistent, cyclical dwelling on negative thoughts that is a hallmark of many mood disorders. The very way stress hormones are managed differs significantly. The female HPA axis, the body's central stress response system, can remain activated for longer periods following a stressful event, which means the physiological wear and tear of chronic stress accumulates differently, contributing to the higher rates of mental health challenges we observe. This inherent biological difference necessitates an approach to therapy and mental wellness that recognizes the hormonal fluctuations and the enhanced emotional processing centers of the female brain. It demands a move away from the one-size-fits-all model. Moving beyond general mood, we uncover a profound difference in the way women manage and perceive pain, a fact that has enormous and often detrimental implications for their health care. It is a curious and troubling truth that women often report higher levels of pain sensitivity than men, but are simultaneously more likely to have their pain dismissed or undertreated by medical professionals. This phenomenon, which science is only beginning to understand, is multifaceted. Biologically, Women have a higher density of nerve receptors in many areas of the body. And the way the endogenous opioid system, the body's natural painkilling system, functions is altered by estrogen. Estrogen can enhance pain sensitivity during certain phases of the cycle. And the pain dampening effect of opioids, both natural and pharmaceutical, can be less potent or less long lasting in women compared to men, leading to chronic pain conditions like fibromyalgia, migraines, and certain autoimmune disorders being far more prevalent in the female population. Consider migraines, for instance, a condition that affects roughly three times as many women as men. The hormonal link is undeniable, with fluctuations in estrogen often triggering or exacerbating attacks. The simple, curious fact here is that pain is not a universal experience. It is a subjective, biologically modulated signal and a woman's body interprets and broadcasts that signal through a distinctly feminine filter, a filter that has historically been ignored in clinical settings, leading to significant delays in diagnosis for conditions that disproportionately affect women. This brings us to the astonishing, yet often invisible, biological engine that drives so much of female psychology and health, the hormonal cycle. 
This is perhaps the most profound and unique biological rhythm of the female human being, a lunar-like cycle that influences everything from brain connectivity and metabolism to sleep and immune function. We often speak of the menstrual cycle in terms of reproductive function, but its psychological reach is immense. The simple shift between the follicular phase, dominated by estrogen, and the luteal phase, dominated by progesterone, creates a predictable, recurring shift in mental capacity and mood. During the follicular phase, many women report heightened energy, clearer cognitive focus, and improved verbal fluency. Estrogen is neuroprotective and can enhance the connections in the prefrontal cortex. But as the luteal phase arrives and progesterone and its metabolite allopregnanolone increase, the shift occurs. Progesterone can have a calming, sedative effect, leading to feelings of relaxation, but for a significant minority of women, this hormonal shift triggers a profound and often debilitating psychological disorder known as premenstrual dysphoric disorder, or PMDD, a condition that goes far beyond typical PMS. PMDD is not simply a bad mood. It is a severe cyclical mood disorder characterized by extreme irritability, uncontrollable tearfulness, anxiety, and depressive thoughts that emerge predictably in the week or two before menstruation and vanish shortly after the period begins. This disorder is estimated to affect up to $5% of women of reproductive age, a fact that underscores the sheer power and psychological impact of the hormonal dialogue within the female body. A dialogue that if unbalanced can momentarily hijack a woman's entire sense of self and well-being. It is a biological truth that demands deep respect, understanding, and specialized medical intervention, not dismissal. The cyclical nature of women's biology doesn't stop with the reproductive years. It continues into a profound and often misunderstood transition known as perimenopause and menopause. The curious fact here is that the psychological symptoms of this transition often precede or overshadow the physical ones and they are frequently misdiagnosed as purely mental health issues. As ovarian function declines and estrogen levels become erratic, the brain, which is rich with estrogen receptors, reacts dramatically. Many women experience new or worsening anxiety, brain fog, sudden mood swings, and sleep disturbances long before their periods stop entirely. This cognitive and emotional turbulence is directly linked to the fluctuating hormone levels not simply aging or stress. The dropping and surging of estrogen, especially in the perimenopausal period, can impact the brain's ability to utilize energy and communicate effectively, leading to the frustrating phenomenon of brain fog and difficulty with executive functions. The fact that many women are prescribed antidepressants for these symptoms, when the root cause is hormonal fluctuation, highlights the ongoing blind spot in medical understanding. The failure to see the endocrine system and the nervous system as an integrated whole, particularly in the female body. Menopause itself is not just the cessation of fertility, it is a neurological and metabolic reboot, a transformation that has lasting effects on cardiovascular health, bone density, and fundamentally, on how the body manages energy and inflammation. Turning our attention to physiological health, we encounter another set of curious facts where the female blueprint deviates critically from the male standard, particularly concerning cardiovascular disease. Despite the pervasive myth that heart disease is a man's disease, it is the leading cause of death for women globally. However, the way it presents in women is yet again often atypical and therefore frequently missed. The classic gripping chest pain, the crushing weight, is less common in women. Instead, a woman experiencing a heart attack may report vague and easily dismissible symptoms, like unusual fatigue, which can last for days, sleep disturbances, shortness of breath, nausea, or pain in the jaw, neck, or back. These symptoms are often misattributed to anxiety, stress, or acid reflux, leading to critical delays in seeking and receiving treatment. The underlying pathology can also differ. While men are more likely to have blockages in the large coronary arteries, Women are often affected by microvascular disease, damage to the tiny blood vessels that feed the heart muscle. This difference in presentation and underlying disease mechanism requires specialized diagnostic tools and treatment protocols that are only slowly being integrated into standard medical practice. 
The curious fact here is the resilience of the female body, which can sometimes mask the severity of the underlying condition. But this resilience ultimately works against timely diagnosis when the symptoms are overlooked. Furthermore, the female immune system holds another fascinating yet problematic secret, the propensity for autoimmune disease. A staggering $80% of people affected by autoimmune diseases, conditions where the body mistakenly attacks its own healthy tissues, are women. Conditions like lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, Sjogren's syndrome, and Hashimoto's thyroiditis are overwhelmingly female phenomena. The reason for this curious fact is complex, but it is heavily linked to the powerful presence of 2X chromosomes and the modulating influence of hormones. Having 2X chromosomes, may introduce a greater variety of immune-related genes, and the constant flux of estrogen and progesterone appears to play a role in regulating the immune response, sometimes triggering it to become hyper-responsive or aggressive. This means the female body is often operating in a state of heightened immune surveillance, which is beneficial in fighting off infections, but carries the significant risk of the immune system becoming too active and turning on itself. This high prevalence is a critical curious fact that necessitates the development of new treatments and a greater understanding of the female-specific mechanisms that govern immune tolerance and aggression. Even something as basic as sleep is governed by a different set of rules for women. Research consistently shows that women are at a higher risk for sleep disturbances and insomnia across the lifespan. Again, heavily influenced by their hormonal journey. The premenstrual phase, pregnancy and perimenopause are all periods marked by potential sleep fragmentation. Progesterone, the same hormone that provides a calming effect, can also cause body temperature to rise slightly, making it more difficult to fall and stay asleep for some women. The surges and drops of estrogen during perimenopause contribute to night sweats and hot flashes, which shatter sleep architecture, leading to chronic sleep deprivation. This is compounded by the fact that women are more often the primary caregivers, their sleep is often interrupted by the demands of children or family members, leading to a state of sleep debt that accumulates over decades. This chronic sleep disruption is not a minor inconvenience. It has profound downstream effects on mood, cognitive function, and metabolic health, contributing to the higher rates of anxiety and depression already mentioned, and further underscoring the interconnected nature of female psychology and physiology. Finally, we must address the curious facts related to pharmacology and drug metabolism. The majority of drug trials throughout history were conducted exclusively on young, healthy males, assuming that the results would be universally applicable. This fundamental flaw in research methodology has led to a major, critical disparity. Women metabolize and respond to many common medications differently than men. Differences in body fat distribution, which affects how fat-soluble drugs are stored. The activity of liver enzymes, which affects how quickly drugs are cleared from the system and, crucially, the influence of the menstrual cycle hormones, all alter drug efficacy and side effect profiles. As a curious example, women often require lower doses of certain sleep medications and have higher rates of adverse reactions because the drugs stay in their systems longer. The same goes for some cardiac medications and even aspirin. The simple vital fact is this, a drug's performance is not gender neutral. It is gender specific. This scientific realization is finally forcing a critical re-evaluation of dosing guidelines and prescription practices. Acknowledging that the biological environment of the female body is a powerful, active variable that must be accounted for in every aspect of medical treatment. As we conclude this deep dive, we are left with a clear and compelling picture. The story of the female body and mind is one of immense complexity, dynamic fluctuation, and profound resilience. The curious facts we've uncovered, from the higher prevalence of autoimmune conditions and the typical presentation of heart disease, to the power of the hormonal cycle to govern mood and sleep, and the distinct way the female brain processes emotion and stress, all point to a singular conclusion. The female biological blueprint is a masterful design, finely tuned for specific purposes but requiring a unique and specialized medical and psychological understanding. The historical tendency to view women's health issues as psychosomatic, or simply an extension of male physiology, has caused decades of misdiagnosis, mistreatment, and suffering. The imperative now is to bridge this knowledge gap, to continue funding research that focuses specifically on the female system, 
and to empower women with the facts about their own curious and magnificent biology. True health equity begins with knowledge, recognizing and honoring the unique and intricate code that defines every woman. This is not just a matter of gender difference. It is a vital step toward a more precise, more compassionate, and ultimately, more effective system of human health care for everyone. Thank you for joining us on this exploration.